Hey guys, welcome back to Crazy House Performance. It's me, Ty. Today we finally get to figure out what the hell is in this box, man. I know I've been busting your guys' chops all over the internet. Some of you guys have really been liking it. Maybe some of you not so much. I'm sorry. I'm trying some new things, so I hope it didn't bug you guys too much. But we do finally get to get to that today, and we'll get that here in a minute. But I do want to say thank you to everybody that's added me on Facebook over here recently. And talking about your guys' ride, sending in pictures, I think that's awesome. I want to continue to encourage you guys to add me at Ty Grant on Facebook. Picture is my race truck, Little Red Dakota. And, uh, you know, again, tell me more about you guys, what you want to see, where you're going. Maybe we can meet up at events across the country and hang out. I think that would be awesome. But otherwise, we finally get to open this box. And are you guys ready for this? Because I'm not sure you are. Uh, but, and hopefully I don't let you guys down, because I have hyped you up tremendously for this. But... I got to quit saying, but however, there is nothing in this box and that is a problem. They told me there was something to make power in this box. That is a problem. This used to be in the box and this is a very nice problem to have. This is a 2017 BGE block. It is a 6'4", 392 out of a 3,500 Ram. It has 66,000 miles. Again, thank you to Alex for hooking it up. Go give him a like, share, and uh, subscribe over on his YouTube channel at Hemi Swapped Racing. He is just up and coming, so give him, like I said, give him some love. I really appreciate it. He did, he gave us this thing damn near for free. So uh, it ate a lifter over here on the intake side, and uh, that's no big deal. It probably ate the camshaft, but we are going to put a new camshaft in it anyways, so not a big deal. We are going to go over the pros and cons of this whole motor. We're going to rip the heads off in today's video for sure and set them side by side and compare the 2005 head with these. And some of you guys know that they're better, but I'm going to visually show you the difference and probably not exact numbers, but somewhat in the ballpark. And uh, we're going to also touch on the fact that, of course, this isn't an LS, right? So on that same topic, I thought you guys were our friends, man. I thought you watched our videos. I would never put an LS in my Dakota. I'm ashamed. I am hurt. I cannot believe you guys would think so low of me that I would just give up on Mopar. Do you see all this stuff over here? Mopar, Dodge, 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 right? Oh, Mopar up here. I am a Dodge guy through and through. I will never put an LS in a Dodge, um, especially a Dodge. I'll put an LS in anything else. And maybe that's something that happens in the future, but not today. So we're going to go ahead and yank these uh, heads off, and we're going to go ahead and compare them, and then we'll keep moving on with this video. Take all these little bolts out real quick. Let's see, pull the head bolts out real quick. So far, I'm not seeing any major differences between any of the fasteners here. They look like the same quality bolt. We're going to use head studs most likely anyways. So, not a big deal. Let's see what the heck we got in this. Okay, we're going to get a little rubber mallet, I guess. Oh my gosh. i tell you one thing Dodge could have done, too. Is they could have um, made these edges a lot less sharp. These things will cut you up bad. So one thing I noticed right off the gate here is that the pistons have tiny little valve reliefs. I don't know if all 6.4s, all 392s uh, have had that or not. So my guess is, based on what I can tell already, the compression is bumped. But also let me see if I can find and figure out how to get a light on this for you guys. We'll get this corny little sucker but anyways so far from what i can tell i can still see the cross hatch i don't see any real crazy wear nothing's real glazed a little bit of a little bit of uh, scarring at the very top of this block right here nothing big but i can i notice a little something there i don't know what the heck is going on there that's a little weird but that's okay. We're going to go ahead and get to the other side. Nothing we can't deal with as of right this second, I'm pretty sure. 
I'm pretty sure little home's gonna clean that up. Nothing, nothing catastrophic there. So we're gonna go ahead and rip the other side off. All right, guys, I got the heads off here, and the one thing I can notice right off the gate is uh, they've got little tiny valve reliefs in these pistons. So I don't know this. I haven't done any research, to be honest. I haven't had time. And it would make sense, but I'm guessing the compression and obviously the stroke and all that has, it's probably different than a 5.7. I don't know what that is, but we'll look at it. But otherwise, it looks really good. There is only on one cylinder wall a little bit at the very tippy, tippy, tippy top of scuffing. And I don't think it's anything bad. It will clean up with the hone. Um, and we'll, we'll deal with that. And then on this side, which we can't see a whole lot, I know I'm using a ghetto light here, but everything looks really good on this side too. Nothing, nothing dramatic, no big scarring, which is to be expected out of 66,000 miles. I mean, I've had uh, other ones with 265,000 miles that when you open it, you can't really tell. So there is that. Right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get an 05 head over here and we're going to compare them real quick. All right, so we've got the heads up here. The biggest difference that you're going to go ahead and see is the ports are significantly larger on the uh, BGE head. This is way smaller. This is about an inch wide by an inch and a half with a relief for the injector. And this is about two inches by two inches by two inches, etc. So there's about a whole square inch of area uh, larger here. And then we're going to go ahead. There's really not a whole lot in the top of the head that's different. But then we're going to go ahead and check out this go ahead and stay there we've got a d port style head on this which this is about two inches by an inch and a half and this is about an inch by an inch by an inch etc so uh much smaller much larger way more flow way more power so that's the real basics of it i do know um and i'll show you guys here on the bottom of it that the head is not really that much different that you can see by eye but i can tell you already you can see a relief here for the spark plug on this one. This is not the one off my motor, by the way. But um, there's a relief here for the spark plug. There is not on this one. So the chamber is a lot larger, or the, uh, yeah, the overall chamber is a lot larger. I know the valve is larger on the intake and the exhaust on this one. So there are significant changes. And then obviously the way the head is structured. So I do believe it's going to make a huge improvement. I'm excited to see what it does. And uh, we'll talk a little bit more about what we could possibly do with those heads in the future. But what I do know the factory flow chart on the BGE heads are is 334 CFM on a stock head. And they can go as high as 403 on a CNC ported head. So that's pretty big power, pretty big improvements. So uh, I'm, I'm pretty excited about that. So we're going to go ahead and jump into trying to pull a piston and a rod out of the block. And we can see the differences there. Okay, guys, it's the next day. We have not pulled the piston out of here yet. I've got to set the hoist up. And we're going to just pick it up, pull one piston out. And then we'll do the comparison real quick. And see what we think, if it's stronger, better, and different, or otherwise. So bear with me. Let's get this moving. All right, guys, so you can see back here right above this rod, there's that little bolt, or little, uh, bolt and then there's like a little wire so it's actually got oil squirters which is cool uh, i seen that in a video with keith that he showed me here the other day so i mean i knew that but i didn't know that till real recent and some people may not i think that's a really neat uh idea and then i've got one piston out which i've got this one right over here obviously so show the inside of that bore it looks really good outside of you know the dirt and water that i've you know put in it itself but nothing that won't clean up really good i'm gonna go ahead and get this back and then i've got these pistons over here and i'll show you guys that here in just a second all right guys so we've got the pistons here believe it or not now that i've had a second to look over them there's not a lot of differences but there are some changes they did try to improve them looks like the fasteners are better i've got two of them out here or i thought i did where the heck did the one go oh back in here haha <laughs> So I can tell the thickness on this one, this is the 6.4, is a lot different than the 5.7. Um, the head of it is a lot different as well. This is a lot thinner, and I can definitely tell the difference in weight. So overall, this is a stronger, heavier, bigger bolt. 
Um, I also noticed that overall the rods are pretty similar design. I can see a little bit different. There's a lot more thickness. Actually, now that I'm looking at it a, click, a little closer, a lot more thickness around the wrist pin where as to the 5.7 early is really thin. Um, the I'm going to call this the skirt or the shoulder is a lot thicker than on this 5.7 See so if I can get it. Um, and the thickness is about the same. The thickness right here is not much different than this, but again, I can feel it. I can't, I can't really explain what I'm talking about, but I can feel the difference in the uh, material here. There is a webbing. Well, I'll show you this one first. On this one, the skirt is really flat. This is flat right up against the wrist pin. This one has webbing. It's not flat. There's kind of like these little dishes in it. And then there's also this little dish right here. So it looks like they've improved maybe the strength of it. Less material, a little lighter. I can't... Off the top of my head, they feel about the same. But uh, they look like they're still very good pistons. I do notice there's a little bit different in skirt design as well. There's like this little... H pattern I guess you'd call it and this one's got a little bit more of a beveled oval so not sure what their reasonings are to that maybe a little bit less friction quicker rpm response I have no idea so those are the differences that I see in these rods now what I want to talk to you guys about is I want to be able to chase down some of these guys that are quicker in the country so like Peter Baum, Cletus, Billy the Kid I respect everything they're doing we respect everything they're doing and we look up to them and we want to inspire to be more like them as far as the street racing scene goes Cletus not so much we just really like Cletus and uh, the point to that is we're gonna need something that keeps up and I'm struggling with on what that looks like whether we go forged whether we throw this stuff together and see what it does and I want to know what you guys think so again keep going with all the comments and what you guys think now you know it's not an ls and now you kind of know my goals i'm going to need somewhere around 15 1800 horsepower and it be reliable and what does that look like and unfortunately i can also admit maybe budget doesn't allow uh me to build a fully forged bottom end this year and it might have to be a next year thing uh these are all things that i'll have to face and deal with as we go and we'll discuss them as we go and I appreciate you guys. Again, check out crazyhouseperformance.com, khp5150.com. Pick up a t-shirt and let us know what you think about the rides on there. There's little bios about everybody. And add me on Facebook. Let's become friends and let's uh, talk about your rides and see what we can do to help each other. Talk to you later, guys. Keep it crazy.